don't even touch me. I'm pregnant. Don't, don't touch me. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. For those that do not know, my name is Mabel and I'm glad that you stopped by. Um, for my returning subscribers, you know how I feel about you. Thank you so much for, you know, tuning in today. So straight up, man, let's just go to the topic. So I got questions from you people. You guys were asking, oh, maybe, oh, do you have sex in your first trimester? Are you having sex? Da, da, da. Is it safe to have sex in your first trimester? And I'm like, hmm, I'm now a medical doctor. <laughs> really? <laughs> but yet again, yeah, I just want to share my knowledge, you know, because... Yeah, I'll just share with you guys what I know. And then those that know, especially medical people in the house, please just enlighten us for that. So I'm going to be telling you about my own self. I'm going to be telling you what I know about sex in your first trimester. People often ask, is it safe to have sex in your first trimester? How safe is it? Some people say, oh, it's not. It can lead to miscarriage. Don't even go there. Don't even try it. Don't, don't, don't. It can, you know, the baby is still forming, so it can just spoil something. Some people say, oh, it can lead to infection. Eh? Like, people just have different opinions about this. <laughs> Some people say, oh, it can cause bleeding. Ah, da, da, da. you know, it's all different. I guess my mom doesn't watch this video because my mother watches all my videos. <laughs> my mother told me that I should not have sex that I should not have sex in my first time is that boy. No, babe. <laughs> I know, obey our mommy. Sorry, it's not like I didn't want to obey you. I just found out that it's okay to have sex. That's why I did it. Okay, I'm sorry if you're watching. <laughs> okay, so I found out that it's actually okay to have sex. Okay, but it's not generally okay. Okay, medically it is okay, but you know there are some conditions. Do you understand? Like, if you your pregnancy is not a high risk pregnancy, then it's okay if they check you and they think that you just basically just ask your gynecologist ask because we're all different i cannot come and tell you that oh me i had sex and then you too you should have sex like i always say we're all different and every pregnancy is different so if the woman has had like history of miscarriage they're going to advise her that no don't do that if she has if she, if she's probably bleeding they're not going to allow her to have sex they're going to advise her not to if she's she has an infection already oh no even if you're not pregnant if you have an infection you cannot be doing stuff like that and then some people have low libido because the first trimester is so dramatic that they're not even thinking about that okay so it just depends on your pregnancy it depends on your health it depends on you it depends on a whole lot some pregnancies some people already have like miscarriage threats some people already have like how do they, how do they say it escaped miscarriage or how did my friend tell me this thing one day because she had something like that babe are you watching what did you call that thing missed miscarriage i don't know but yes those kind of threats if you have those threats then please stay away so um people that think that sex causes miscarriage sex does not cause miscarriage what happens is if you already have high risk pregnancy and you go ahead to have sex and miscarriage happens, you now think it's the sex that caused it. It's not the sex that caused it. So my doctor explained something to me the last time that there's something contained in a man's semen that can stimulate um, labor. Yes, it can stimulate labor. That particular thing, they even have the drug, like they give people the drug to stimulate labor. But I say stimulate, sorry. <laughs> but, you know, it's natural in a man's semen so that's why they advise people that oh in your last trimester have sex a lot because that really helps and then sometimes orgasm also can stimulate labor so you know if you already have issues with your pregnancy and then you're not having sex and the semen contains that thing definitely something wrong something is going to go wrong something bad is going to happen to the pregnancy so that's basically what i know i also know that some people might have cramps after sex in early pregnancy so it just depends on you though some people also really want to have sex but they are dry and stuff you can oh god i just remember when i started this channel this was a sex channel before like it was a sex channel when i started it's cool if you're dry 
as a pregnant person, even if you're not pregnant, it is advised to use water-based lubricant, okay, for some wetness and stuff. That's for people that are experiencing that. Please do not hold my word. I'm not a doctor. It's the one that I know that I'm coming here to share. It's people that asked me, oh, it's the one that me I know that I'm coming here to share. Don't come and say, maybe I said, hey, my hand is not there. I'm just telling you what I know. Okay, so water-based lubricant is actually very okay if you are pregnant. So let me just recap. General, this thing is not supposed to be long. Generally, it is safe to have sex in your first trimester. It is medically safe. It is in every way safe. But if you have issues already, you've had miscarriage, you've you have you've had threats of miscarriage, you have an infection, you have anything at all that is risky to the baby, then you are advised to stay put. Then it also depends on you and your partner. Like my husband was not just comfortable at the initial stage because he just feels, oh, you're pregnant. So, you know, so you just have to be careful. We just try to be careful. And it's not like we have sex all the time. It's just once in a while when I am able to or when he's able to, you know. So it just depends on you and how you feel because sometimes the whole thing can be so overwhelming that sex is not your problem. You don't even want anybody. I know people that, please tell me if you're like that in the comments. They will say, I don't want anybody to touch me. Like, don't even touch me. I'm pregnant. Don't, don't touch me. Yeah. <coughs> it just depends on your body, okay? If you feel like it and your partner is okay with it, then go right ahead. Okay. All right, guys, that's basically all I just want to talk about in this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and then drop a comment in the comment section and then subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet. And then share this video with people that might be interested in such content, okay? Do not forget that I love you and I'm going to try and be consistent and see you in my next one. It's a good day today, guys. Bye.